like our first podcast ever that we did like before we started Girl Talk Live was on decisions and it's some of the best. You need to get back maybe just get back and forgive us for all of our mistakes. But <laughs> it was super fun mm-hmm. because we did a part two series on decisions and it's does this honor God? Like before you make any decision, like these are such simple three questions mm-hmm. to help us just realize like what decision we need to make. And it's does this honor God? Does this honor myself and who I want to be? And then does this honor others? And like those are three kind of going in with all of our relationships that we're talking about this semester. Like if we can get those things answered and really like all of our relationship, I mean, all of our decisions should be yes to those, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. Like we should all, I mean, love God, love your neighbor as yourself. Like does this honor God, myself and others. Mm-hmm. And, um, and so that's just like kind of a little bit of a, I mean, it goes into our relationship with ourself because to make that clear decision that we were just talking about, like, we need to honor those things. I mean, we talk about Sarah and Abraham a lot, but I think it's such a good thing to just like keep in the front of our minds that like mm-hmm. Sarah took it upon herself because, and there's always that point. God did not promise Sarah that she would have a son. She did not promise Sarah that she would be the mother of nations until after this happens. God does promise Abraham that he's going to be the son. I mean, to have the father of all nations, but it just goes back to Sarah took it upon herself because she didn't trust herself. She was, she was getting impatient. Yeah, she was mm-hmm. not giving Abraham what God had promised him. And so she's like, okay, mm. we'll just do this and that. And then, like, you just go, like, and then she births Ishmael. She doesn't, but it, it births, births this <laughs> child that just is just into shame and into mm. a life of, like, that wasn't Hardship, the yeah. purpose. And so mm-hmm. just keeping that in the forefront of our minds of, like, knowing that, like, when we know ourselves, when we know our relationship with Christ and who that makes our relationship to be with ourselves, like we can trust him mm-hmm. and not doubt ourselves, which goes all into what we just said. So mm-hmm. I always yes. think it's important we can to trust just, him. you know, the everything. Sarah, but yeah. <laughs> we got to use her. Mm-hmm. Well, she's there for a reason. So we learn from her, right? Yeah. All the good, all the bad. Um, I love Psalm 84, 11. It says, you, the Lord, my God, are my son and shield. You, Lord, bestow favor and honor, and no good thing do you withhold from those whose walk is blameless. I mean, that that speaks to um, our protection, mm-hmm. our future, you know, why we want to, another reason, another reason why we want to hold fast to him and his word. I mean, he created. It's not that we need reasons of selfishness. Yeah to obey him. I mean, he is worthy of our lives. He is worthy. Jesus and all he did, um, he is holy. Even, gosh, even if he hadn't have died on the cross for us, he still deserves our perfect obedience, which we aren't capable of without him and Holy Spirit. But my point is, um, it's just another reason because in honesty, y'all, I, I mean, I tell the Lord all the time, I'm so selfish, you know, like, I want to obey you because I want the blessings. And that's, let me say that loud and clear. That is wrong. Okay. That is so wrong. But honestly, I I don't like hard. I like all the pretty things. And, and, and life is hard either way. But the joy of living a life with Christ is that we get to sit and let him comfort us when it's hard. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but I tell him all the time, I'm like, I'm sorry I'm so selfish. You know, I want to obey you because you're you. And, and that's where I have to confess my sin. You know, because we can live a life just wanting to wanting all the things. And I get that. I mean, I'm a girl and I like pretty things. But when you, because he takes us all through the season of having nothing. And of, of the fear of having nothing. I mean, because... He, that's the wilderness and it's to test our character to make us more like Christ and so that we can see who he is and we can love him more than the stuff ultimately we ultimately he wants our hearts to love him because of who he is and let let me say that loud and clear god is worthy of our love for who he is not what he's done for us and not what he will do for us and I just want to make sure y'all hear me say that because I, I'll tell you about my sin all day long um, because he's so good. And But when we know that we can walk with him and then also have these good things, why would we not? Mm-hmm. Again, do you love yourself? 
I mean, I do, and I love my children, and and I love everybody around me. Um, but I love that verse. It says, "No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless." And that doesn't promise us a mansion or the best car or the best vacations or the mm-hmm. best clothes. It promises us his presence and his peace and his joy and his faithfulness, which even when we are unfaithful, he's faithful. Mm -hmm. But it promises us him and his protection in all things. And it promises us just his goodness, you know, which is enough. That is enough. And even in saying all this, it just makes me want to be like, ah, yeah. so sorry, you know, because, but we're, yeah. we all fall into that. Yeah. And, and if I didn't say it, I would be such a liar. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I was thinking about how, like, if you really think about it, like the best times in life are like, just, I mean, yeah, it's super fun to like go on a great vacation, like have the best pictures and like eat the best food. But like, really isn't the best like time in that is like, the hotel food, like the hotel just snacks, sitting and, and being like with everybody, going and back laughing. to the hotel and mm-hmm. like jumping between beds and like just mm-hmm. having those like really small moments. And then I mean, it's the the joy of a kid who's like literally opening all of these toys and all he wants to do is like play with the wrapping paper, or he's like <laughs> yeah. crawling inside the boxes and everyone's like, haha, shouldn't have bought you all these toys. You should have just gotten you a box. And like parents like are like mm-hmm. great, but then like really like that's mm-hmm. such a that's God. Like, that's if you God. really think that's about Jesus. it, like, that's mm-hmm. everything he p- promises us, us is not all the f- fluffy, like, frou-frou stuff of the mm-hmm. world. It's literally just, like, he promises us, like, mm-hmm. what is good. And, like, yeah. honestly, walking outside into the spring and just, like, realizing everything that's, like, right there, mm-hmm. like, that's so good. Like, yeah. You know, that and that's enough. what he... That's what he promises us. So, so like we're saying. Because like, even in the beginning, he just created Eden. He yeah, created the garden. Yeah. And man, and they didn't have any of this other yeah. stuff that we have now. So that's what he intended us yeah. for. Yeah. And the, I mean, a relationship with yourself, like, I mean, it's the fact that you know, like, in yourself, because God is with you and, like, he made you and you have Jesus and you have Holy Spirit, like, just being yourself is good enough. enough. Like, it's enough. And yeah, him like, and you yeah, is enough. Yeah, and, it's all him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so uh, it's just it like so a good, good. Mm-hmm. yeah, it's a good place <laughs> to just sit and be like, you know what, like, yeah. you know, and you were perfect without your makeup on. You know, like, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. I mean, I've seen you without makeup on. Sorry, I'm not and the then best the other mind. thing, the other thing is, um, in Psalm 16, he tells us as we're saying that it's enough to know him. And to know yourself in him. That's enough and who he created you to be. But the other thing we have to remind remind ourselves and each other a lot is that he's given us all that we need. Mm -hmm. And while, yes, it's good to to grow and and educate ourselves and and learn a skill and prepare ourselves for life, those things are good, but we don't want to put them in front of our relationship with him and what he's given us now. Mm -hmm. But we know that he will provide for us what we need to grow and become who he created us to be. Um, Psalm 16, five says, Lord, you have assigned me my portion and my cup. You have made my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places and surely I have a delightful inheritance. So that just tells us like every where he's put us, everything he's given us, our parents, our parents' income, um, our income if you're or, or your own income if you're later, whatever um, he has gifted you with to grow, that's enough. It's mm-hmm. your decision using the things we're about to talk about, how you're going to use those things because that is what in the end will matter. And the judgments that we're about to talk about. So, all that to say, when you're having a hard day, mm. as we all do, <laughs> it's okay. I mean, we all have hard times. We all become discontent at one time or another with whatever we have or don't have or, or whatever. But y'all, we have to remember these things and stop complaining because our complaints are essentially telling God, you didn't give me what I wanted. Mm-hmm. And it's like... I'm, I'm whatever you're doing in my life. I could have done better. Or I'm, I, yeah. I just, what'd you do that for? Yeah. Like why? Why I want what she has, yeah. and that's coveting, which again is one of the Ten Commandments. Yeah. So, um, one time, 
one time I was kind of busy, um, a little bit busy, and, you know, just running, knocking everything out, and somebody came up to me, or not came up to me, but maybe texted me, <laughs> one of my girls texted me, and they were just complaining about all this stupid stuff, like stupid first world problems, and I just said, hey, stop complaining, your life is really good, and remember, Jesus is your good day, okay? <laughs> so, I just, I wasn't feeling sorry for her at the moment. <laughs> yes. So, so mm -hmm. in the little things, that's mm -hmm. when, when we're walking and talking with him every day, like we love to say, because that's mm -hmm. our life, like, you know, when we walk and talk with Jesus every day, like, that's when we really do, we take joy in those little things, like mm -hmm. we were just talking about, and like, that's mm -hmm. when our relationship with ourselves is so satisfying because it's our relationship with Jesus mm -hmm. and it's what takes us into our relationship with others and it takes yeah. us into the hard things and like yeah mm -hmm. this is really hard but like like there's so much more to that like it's and you don't just sit and like oh, this is so hard I hate this like I'm miserable like just you really, all on yourself like you are able to like we like they, they used to call it nasal gazing and now we call it like i always talk about the <laughs> the you know when you're just looking down at yourself oh, but like okay. now mm -hmm. i like to say like it's the front camera and the back camera like mm -hmm. you want to like when we have such a focus on god and who we are mm -hmm. in him it turns our focus on the back camera and you're mm -hmm. looking out to what's in front of you, who is mm -hmm. in front of you, what's around you instead mm -hmm. of keeping your selfie camera on, on all the time. And yeah. that's why we hate Snapchat so much <laughs> because it's literally like, I know y'all take pictures of like your surroundings now, but like <laughs> when it first started, it was all uh -huh. just like taking pictures of your face all the time. And like, uh -huh. it's so self conceited. And that's how we are when we have the wrong relationship with ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, Fear, a life, let's recap real quick what we talked about first. Um, you're going to surrender to something. You're going to be a slave to something, either a slave to yourself or a slave in sin mm -hmm. and, or a slave to, or surrendered to God and a slave of righteousness. Um, a life surrendered to self is a life of fear, but a life surrendered to God is one of peace and comfort despite your circumstances. Mm -hmm. So.